Hello everyone, I'm the Vortex and welcome to this 8th episode of Discord.jsbot. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a config file. What is it, you might ask? Well, let me show you something. So this is basically um, the most basic bot I could ever make. And if you remember from episodes um, one to five, um, in one of these, I declared um, a variable called token, and uh, in which I would copy my my token found on my Discord developer page, and I would just copy this and paste it right here. And when I would do spice.js in a command prompt, it would read the token right here, and it would work. But now, the problem is, I want to share my code, because it's super amazing, I want to share it to all my friends. Well, if you don't want to always have to change the, the token, and rename it something else, that might be left out, and will cause your bot to not work, I propose you a config file. So to start off, you will want to do um quick reminder, it only work uh, I only know um how to do this in Atom, but you can always create a text file in um your folder right here. Create a text file and then rename it you'll see. So what we'll want to do is create a file named config.json and what a json file is, it's basically a text file but from which um, JavaScript applications can read from uh, quite easily and edit them and all that good stuff. So now that we have created our config.json um, file, we'll want to call it into our um, bot. Bot, bot, bot. In our bot um, file. So right under constant client, we'll add another constant called config. And we will require now let get me let's get this straight. There. So what it does right here, it creates a constant named config and you'll see later um, how it will be applied, but it will just ask my JavaScript application to find a file in the same um, directory named config.json, which is right here. But now, we haven't put anything else in our config.json script, so let's do that now. But first, Control S, save your progress. It's really important to do that every single time. And now in config.json, you'll want to add these wiggly boys. And then we will set two main, um, two very important uh, variables. So we're going to store our token variable right here and we'll want to paste our disgustingly long token oh, copy paste it here and you don't have to put a semicolon you have to put a comma and then we'll add our prefix because this way we don't have to always call on our prefix in our script, which is 
uh, not appearing because there's nothing because this isn't the goal of the video so the prefix will be dash and since this is the end of the of the enumeration of variables you don't put a comma and you save now back to our tutorial um, script what it does right now is we basically declare our token variable right here we won't need this right here and so now in clang.login you will type config.token so how this works is remember how we set the constant config well it's going to read in that json um, script and it's going to go to the line it's going to be the file config line token and then it's going to write config.token so it means it's going to gather this line and if we were going to gather the prefix um, for example poof magic there you go um, instead of having to hard code um, the prefix in your bot you can just type right here config dot prefix plus help and so when um, um, the bot will set his game it's gonna go search for the prefix which is dash and then add help good and now for our final little trickery with our config.json file is the following let's make some little place and what I will be doing is some verification to make sure that before everything else is run for your bot it will verify if this is filled with information and if it's empty then it will exit and ask you to fill in first so what we want to write is an if statement if our token is empty or this li two little bars mean or or if config dot prefix is empty you do the following you will say in the console please fill in config.json semicolon and then we will process dot exit parentheses one that's well spent well spent well spelt there you go so recap it's gonna say if there's nothing on this line or this line right here it's gonna tell me in the command prompt please fill in this very file with the needed information and then it will just close all right so now the testing has begun um, so first off we're gonna try to start the bot without any token so if this has been done right you will see by yourself too that if I try to run my JavaScript application it will ask me to fill in the config.json file and will exit so as you can see spice is still offline but now wrong that's that's not a good icon now if I do some little editing magic to add my token voila 
Now, normally, if I would to be executing spice again, it will work. So as you can see, since the token and the prefix field were filled, it didn't um, fill the applic um, the if statement, so it just proceeded along its way to say that spice is ready. And as you can see, config.prefix.help. So remember, we had the prefix dash. I'm just going to type it right here, dash. So if we look, spice is online, playing dash help. All right. So this concludes our eighth episode of Discord.jsbot. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button and tell me in the comments what I should tackle next. And until then, stay awesome. Peace.